Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And welcome to the introduction of the Amazon and M2E Pro Advanced Course. That's right. In this course is where we take you to the next level with Magento, M2E Pro and Amazon. So what are you going to learn during this course? Dave, what are we going to learn during this course? Well, we're going to start off by adding in the additional Magento attributes that you're going to need for what we have planned coming up. Oh yeah, there's a few of those to say the least, but these are all <laughs> the advanced attributes which you need in your Magento system, like search terms and min and max price, and there's about nine of No, there's more than that. There's quite a few which you need to add. Just trust us, you will need them, but yeah. And then from there, we're going to look at how to handle existing products from Amazon in Magento and M2E Pro. So let me just clarify that. We'll show you how to take your existing products off Amazon and get those into Magento, including images, titles and descriptions and stop numbers and all the good stuff, which we'll get onto in a few moments time. And then Matt, once we've done the existing products, we go on to creating new products in Amazon, which includes both simple and variation products. Yeah, my, Dave, my house rule before now was that the best place to create products on Amazon or for Amazon was on Amazon. Yeah. Actually, when you start seeing what you can do with the different policies within M2E Pro, it's pretty flexible. So I might have to reconsider that one. We have an exception, I see. And then we're going to be looking at how you can handle reprices with M2E Pro. And of course, oodles more too. Now, for this course, we have a specific plan of attack or battle plan is what I like to call it. Now up until now I'm sure you're aware that myself and Dave view as a very simple approach called crawl, walk and run to everything which we do here over at Understand the Knee and this course is exactly the same but the key is you've already learned to crawl in the previous course. So when you set up Amazon and M2E Pro within your Magento system that was the crawl bit now it's time for you to learn how to walk and run with Magento, M2E Pro and Amazon. Now the battle plan for this course is really straightforward so we're going to break it down to five pieces for you. Dave, would you like to run us through those five points? Absolutely. So to start off with, we're going to be adding in the missing attributes that you need for maximum control. And like I said, although you might not understand why we're adding certain things in at the beginning, all will become clear in the following tutorials. That's right. And the key two words which you need to be aware of, maximum control. And that's why you're going to be adding quite a few additional attributes to your Magento system to give you maximum control and also maximum flexibility in what you can do within your system. Once we have those set up, we're then going to go after the Amazon products that you already have in Magento. That's right, and the next part of that is for the products which don't exist yet in Magento, then we're going to leverage an existing tool within WidgetChimp to export them and then reconcile the two together so you can find out which products you don't have in Magento yet, get all the data from Amazon, and again, we'll show you how to do this step by step over a collection of tutorials, and then get that data into your Magento system so then you can map your products between Magento and Amazon using M2E Pro and crucially the products which you've got on Amazon you could also use the same product data from that to sell onto eBay and also onto your Magento website too. Absolutely, it really is that easy. Once you have the information once it can go everywhere. <laughs> And then from there, we're then going to learn how to create new simple and variation products on Amazon utilizing M2E Pro. Yep, so we're going to start off really simple, create a new simple product, because we like simple. And then we'll work our way up to variation products. And let's face it, if you can do one variation product, then you can do them all. It's really straightforward to do, especially in M2E Pro. It's nice and easy. And then Dave, part five of the battle plan. For those of you which know anything about a battle plan, you know that any battle plan just goes completely to pot as soon as you engage. And that's what number five is about. We have a battle plan to take you from one to four. So from having your inventories discrepancies within your system, you have some products on Amazon, some products on eBay, some products in Magento, and we'll sort that out with Magento and Amazon during this course. And then part five 
is for everything else. So this is going to be listing groups, setting up the FBA settings, automatic actions, view modes, policies, repricing, and so on and so forth. And that allows us the flexibility to be flexible for you and the feedback which we get during this course. Now, Dave, we do have a couple of prerequisites for before you consider starting this course. Now, none of them are particularly hard, and we're sure you've probably done them already, but we just want to point them out. Yeah, yeah, this is exactly because we don't want you to run into any problems as we get going. So the more you are forewarned, the more you are forearmed. So with that said, you do need a working knowledge of selling on Amazon. And of course, we have a free course for that called The Ultimate Guide to Selling on Amazon. If you don't have a working knowledge of Amazon or selling on Amazon, then go and take that course. It's a free course and you can find that from the Magento Tutorials link at the top of the Understanding You website. And we'll take you through Amazon. Even if you never sold on Amazon before, we'll take you through those steps. The next one is that you have completed the Amazon and M2E Pro Basics course which again is 100% free on understandingy.com. But this is the feeder for where you are right now. So we recommend that you have the basics course licked before you start getting involved in the advanced course. Yeah, for example, there's attributes which you need in your system. And we won't be covering those in this course because we assume that you've already got them in place. So if you haven't taken the basics course, it's free. Again, you can find that on the understandingy.com website. Next up, we have that you have Magme installed and working. And this is needed for matching and creating the new products that you have in Magento. Yep, don't worry. When it comes to the CSV files for Magme, you can follow us along. We'll give you the files so you can see the examples which we're using. And again, we're using a real Seller Central account. So our details will be very similar to yours. It won't be the same products, obviously but you'll be able to use that as a template to use in your business. So literally, if you can manage copy and paste or drag down on a page, you'll be able to do that. So nothing scary in that one at all, Dave. Good. We don't like scary at all. Next up, we have an FTP account and software set up. Now, again, we have you covered here because back in our free Getting Started course, we show you how to do this with FileZilla. With files in there and setting it up in cPanel, only takes a couple of minutes and really straightforward to do. And the last one, and this is a crucial one actually, because this course is only available to premium members of Understanding E, then you're also going to need a widgetchimp.com account as well. Now, the note there is that if you're a premium member of Understanding E, then you get a free elite subscription with Widgetchimp and you get access to the additional tools. One of those tools is an Amazon export tool where you're able to put the ACE in and your SKU in and get the titles, the images, the descriptions and all the data which you need to make a basic product within Magento so that you could then create that product in Magento to then either sell it on your website or then sell it on eBay. There's a tool set up in WidgetChimp which is going to help you massively for that. So if you don't have a WidgetChimp account, go and register, contact support, and they'll be able to set you up as a premium member and you'll gain access to that tool. Now, Dave, we've covered quite a bit. We've got an awful lot to cover in this course, and we're going to be doing our absolute best to keep this as simple as it should be for you. So like we said before, we've done the crawl. We're now going to be in the walk and the running stages. So in the next tutorial, which follows this one, we're going to be showing you how to add in the missing attributes into your Magento system. So when it comes to managing your products on Amazon using M2E Pro, you've got, and of course, creating new products as well, you've got all the attributes which you would need already pre-set up in your system. Now, Dave, what you've heard, and again, you're coming in from the third party point of view here, because you know that I've been in with Magento and M2E Pro working all the different bits out going, right, we're ready for this one. And I'm up right now, at the time recording, I'm right up to number 12. So I'm already a dozen tutorials ahead of Dave right now. <laughs> so my acid test for this one, does the battle plan make sense here, Dave, to go after the existing products first and then go into the creation ones? Yeah, this is by far the most sensible way to do this. You want to start off with what you've got already and getting those all sorted before we start getting that next level and start making new products. So yeah, I think this is the most sensible approach that we can take and hopefully you agree. 
Indeed, well, you're going to find out. <laughs> Literally, in the next tutorial, we're straight into the deep end. We're going to get those attributes created. I'm really excited because I know I've been looking forward to this course for a long time now, and I can't wait to start sharing it with you, and I know that you're going to really enjoy it. So for myself, Matt. And for me, Dave. We'll see you in the next tutorial. Let's go and do this. Cheerios.